ashes to ashes. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about June Kazama and what happened to her. Because Netflix just announced a new series coming to Netflix sometime this year. Tekken Bloodline. Now, from the looks of the trailer and with all the information we have, it looks like it's going to be taking place during the events of Tekken 3. We know that for a fact. We don't know if they're going to touch Tekken 2, Tekken 1, or anything after, but definitely Ogre will be a big role. Jun Kazama, they showed a split second of Kazuya in there as well. So there's a lot to discuss about this. I will be doing a lot of videos, just trying to break everything down and figure out exactly what could happen. I think the timing on this was incredible. 25 years ago today, Tekken 3 was released in North America. This post was also posted yesterday as well, right before the trailer came out. And I think this really is a fantastic way to celebrate just Tekken, especially Tekken 3, which some people would argue is one of the best Tekkens ever made. It's definitely one of the best selling. One thing that I do want to mention about the trailer. I kind of touched on this briefly when I was doing my breakdown of it. If you guys haven't seen that, go watch it. In the trailer, I didn't really understand what I was watching until Ogre showed up. And the main reason that is, is because one, Jin Kazama, yes, his hair, if you really focus on it, looks like Jin Kazama, but his clothes, it doesn't really match some of the outfits we remember Jin wearing in the past. Like if you look at the Tekken 3 cover, he has on those red gauntlets. I wonder if he will get those or if they will scrap that from the story. Another thing too, Jun Kazama's outfit. When we think of Jun Kazama, we usually think about the Tekken Tag Tournament 2 outfit of hers. Another very iconic one is the one where she's wearing the shorts with the knee high socks. But this outfit that she's wearing in the trailer looks more similar to her Tekken 2 outfit. But either way, I think it's really cool um, regardless. Another thing in the trailer that was really like stood out to me, there was a moment in the trailer where Ogre, he swiped Jin away. Jin ran up and he punched him back. But then he was holding Jun Kazama in the air and that made me sort of think back to some of the uh concept arts and some just some of the things that was created throughout the years that specific moment in the trailer seemed like a true callback to the whole controversy around this character i have a comment here from harada i thought this one was really fascinating someone asks will him jun kazama ever be brought back into the main story. I want to see her save Kazuya personally. Harada says, naturally. Now I have no comment, but someday. She is an important and essential element to talking about the story of Kazuya and Jin. This was on December 2nd, 2017. So quite some time ago. And we saw this sort of essence being carried throughout the community. A lot of people wanted to see the return of Jun Kazama. And I feel like this series, this Netflix show, makes me feel like Jun Kazama will return in Tekken 8. Because for them to, out of everything they could have decided to focus a story on, I said Tekken 3 is, is by far the best. But also, them putting Jun Kazama at the forefront like that, that exposes a lot of people who may not know who this character is or what this character has done or just anything about Tekken 3. This exposes them and catches them up to the story. So in Tekken 8, when Jun Kazama does show up, a lot of people will already know. People will be caught up. They won't have to look at YouTube or whatever. And I think all of these things are being planned out perfectly. And I think she will possibly be in Tekken 8. Now, let's get into the what happened to her portion of the video. Now, of course, we have to talk about this iconic picture. This picture is from the intro of Tekken 3. In the intro of Tekken 3, it sort of flashes back between Jin and Ogre. And at one point in time, Ogre is holding the head of a uh, what looks like a lady. And in the past, I said that this was Jun Kazama's head. And you kind of can view it in many different contexts. One way that I now view this is if you look at the intro to Tekken 3, 
the way that it is framed, it's kind of through the eyes of Jin Kazama. To give you an example of what I mean, the status of Jun Kazama is unknown, but Jin believes she was killed by Ogre. So this image here is sort of what Jin believes happened to her. Jin believes that Ogre killed Jun Kazama and he, he is just kind of like imagining the worst thing possible. Ogre basically decapitating his mother and like, you know, staring at the head in some menacing way. So this picture isn't actually what happened, but it's what Jin believes happened. More proof to this is a tweet from Harada. Someone asked Harada, Ultra Zero X27 says, this has been said a lot, but is Ogre holding June's head in Tekken 3 arcade intro? Question mark. Harada says, I said no over 50 times. This tweet from Harada shifted the story when it comes to June and Ogre because in the past, I believe when this game first came out, she was supposed to die, but she sort of escaped death through the community's wishes and wants for this character to return. I have the Tekken 3 story, a brief summary. I want to read this so everyone knows exactly what's happening. It says, she has taught and trained Jin her Kazama self-defense fighting style. Years later, June sensed the approaching of great evil and told Jin if anything should happen to her that he should seek out his grandfather Heiachi. Now this is actually what happens in the trailer. It really didn't click in my mind, but we saw this play out. She was training Jin and then there was a moment in there where she sort of started sweating and she like sensed Ogre coming. After the fight, Jin does go to Heiachi. June's words proved to be prophetic and sometime after June's 15th birthday, so I thought he was like 13, 14, he was actually 15. Ogre did indeed attack June screamed for Jin to run away, but Jin wished to protect his beloved mother and prepared to fight Ogre in order to save June. Ogre, however, was way too much of a match for Jin and knocked him unconscious. What happened next is unknown, but by the time Jin woke up, the Kazama house was burnt to the ground and June was missing. Jin desperately searched for her, but she was nowhere to be seen. Jin assumed that June was dead and swore revenge on Ogre. Now, that is all we know about the story. I think what's really gonna be fascinating about this series is one, where is Kazuya in all of this? This brief summary I just read mentions Kazuya zero. In the trailer, he was only shown one time and I think it's gonna be very, very exciting, interesting to see what was he doing what is he going to do and how this changes him? Because we sort of know how this changes Jin and this shapes him, this kind of pushes him down that anti-hero, uh, dark hero is what they called it. Pushed him down this dark hero path and we could possibly see how that uh, not only unfolds but develop in real time. Possibly the biggest question I have right now for this series is what happens to Jun Kazama? Harada says she's missing. That's the famous quote when you talk about Jun Kazama. And in this show, will they answer it? After the battle, will we see what happens to her? Where she ends up? Or will they tackle that in Tekken 8? I think that would be really cool if the, the, this, this show kind of correlates with Tekken 8 and both of those stories kind of flow and work together. The show kind of prepares people for the Tekken 8 story and catches a lot of people up who missed out on Jun Kazama. But then Tekken 8 answers some of the big questions like what happened to her? Will Ogre return? Things of that sort, right? Also, when you talk about Leroy Smith being in the trailer and stuff like that, the possibilities with who will be there and what they will be doing is pretty much endless. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to do a follow-up video just to talk about Jun Kazama and really hone in on that aspect of the character because it is a lot of mystery surrounding this character and it's going to be very cool to finally get some answers to what happened and 
see how all these characters reacted, right? So that's it. That's all I really want to talk about. Uh, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be doing more discussions because there's so much happening right now. Even though Tekken 8 isn't confirmed, this series just opens up so many more possibilities. But that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.